Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make really easy and step by step these beautiful candy cane earrings. They're easy to make and I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular ear wires. I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. And I also have another tutorial uh, for a candy cane earrings but they are smaller and are made with two whole beads also called twin beads or super dose and you could check them here and if you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 no seed beads and here I use ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle, scissors. And you could use pliers, but they are not obligatory. Only if you need to go through the difficult bits, you could use them. Okay, and down there in description, I have links where you could buy the supplies from. Okay, so now I'm going to put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up four red seed beads. Okay, four, two of these beautiful silvers, four reds and then again two silvers, okay. This is how I start my work. I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick here the needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and then I'm going to make one more knot like this just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure And then guys, in my next step, I will go through these four red beads here. And I'm going to take two silvers, four reds and two silvers. So this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through these four beads here. Okay. Now I have this and I want to flip my work because it's easier for me. Always flip your work the way it's easier for you. Okay, going through these two silvers like this. Then I'm going through these four red beads. Okay, two silvers, four reds. and two silvers okay this is what i have here and i'm going back here through these four beads like this okay now i have this then i'm going through these two silvers go here through these four red beads And I will show you one more time, two silvers, four reds and two silvers. Okay, I have this. Go back here. Okay, now I have five red rows. And I need to make two more red rows, okay. 
with this stitch. Okay, I have this and I'm going back here flipping okay guys now I have seven red rows and I'm going to do something differently here okay I'm going here through these four beads and here instead of taking two silvers I'm going to take three silvers and I'm going to take four red beads again and now I'm going to take only one silver from the this side okay and I have this and in this way I'm starting with my curve okay flip my work go through these three beads here then go through these four that are on my way okay now i will do the same thing one silver this time from the inner side it's one silver four reds and then three silvers okay i have this and i'm going back here Okay. then through this silver and through all of those three beads again three silver from the outside edge four reds and one silver here okay go back Okay, like this okay and I will repeat this step three more times okay okay and now guys i'm going to make the last step and it will be a little bit different i will take one silver bead four reds uh, three reds this time not four and then again three more silvers okay this is the only different thing here that i in my last step take three red beads instead of taking four like I did before okay and now guys I did my curve here okay and what I'm going to do next is go around and reinforce my work okay so here what I want to take are five of these beautiful beads here Okay, I'm taking my five and I'm going through these three beads here. Okay. Then I'm taking one and don't worry that at this stage it bends and moves. We'll fix it later. Okay. Go here. One more. go here and 
and I'm going to add one bead everywhere. until the end of this row add silver beads here 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 everywhere and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and as i continue adding more and more beads i'm here at my last step and here guys what i want to do is add six beads Okay, I have my six here on my needle and I'm skipping these four beads and going through the following two silvers. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to continue the same thing, adding beads where I have gaps between those beads here. Okay. Okay guys, and now uh, here I will do something differently. I won't add any more seed beads. Here is the last seed bead that I'm adding. And I will go through all of those beads without adding any new beads. Okay. This is in order to make my curve here. Okay. And when I pull, guys, I have this. Now I want to reach here and attach my ear wire. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm going through all of those beads here in this direction. And here I am at the fourth row, one, two, three, four. And this is the fourth row counting from this edge. And I want to take one seed bead going here through this ear wire and one more seed bead. And I'm going back in circle through this. Okay. Now I have this. And I'm going to reinforce this part. Okay guys, and when I reinforce my work, I'm here where I need to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I will choose a place, let's say here. I will go once making a loop. Then I will go twice through this loop I've made. I'm going to pull, making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Then I might, re uh, might uh, repeat this knot several more times. And when I'm ready, I'm going through the following seed bead and cutting my thread. Never cut next to a knot. And now my Christmas candy cane earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my candy cane earrings are ready. So if you like them and you enjoy them, uh, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down 
Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.